Fi here. And today we're going to do a quickie unboxing of the contents of this box here. Oh, let's open it up. Side we have this. But this says uh, wireless vertical mouse, 2.4 gig, USB, ergonomic mouse, optical mouse for PC, desktop, etc, etc. It's a vertical mouse. And that's why I had to get it. I have never seen in my life a vertical mouse before or used one. And I was immediately intrigued. And I knew I had to unbox it for anyone out there like me who would think to themselves, how's that work? So this is the box it comes in. Let's open it up. Inside we get the mouse in this little uh, bubble wrap and a little instruction book. This is just one-sided. There's nothing on that side. This is what it looks like. It's very, like, it's like, almost looks like a Star Trek, like, logo. The bottom is there. This is the top. And this is how you hold it. This is actually, this is very interesting. Obviously, we have your left and right buttons. You have your scroll wheel here. The sides are a forward button and a back button. That's cool. The little uh, port to charge it with the wire is here. There it is. I was wondering where the piece that would plug into the USB slot, so it'd be wireless, would be. And I think it's right there. There we go. So that is the piece that would plug into the computer. Okay, so that's this mouse, put this out of the way. Let's go ahead and plug this one in. And I hope there's enough charge to use it for you now. Oh, and there's a DPI button up here. That's pretty cool. I may have to charge it full spell. Oh, and that's why the table looks so crowded because I wanted to have everything nearby so you could actually see me testing this out. I've tested out other, um, mouses, mice before, and it's always been off camera and I didn't like that. It's plugged in, it's charging. I'm gonna give this a few minutes and hopefully we'll have enough charge to at least test it out for you on camera. I will say initially though, it doesn't feel nearly as foreign as I expected it to. Uh, if you know, like, because I'm so used to this, the mouse on its side, it looks like something you'd see in a sci-fi movie. It just seemed like it might be I guess cumbersome to use, but it feels actually doesn't feel bad at all. Like surprisingly, it feels very natural. And my you know my hand is turned this way, and if I go over here, I have to turn my hand back this way and flatten out my wrist. Here, your wrist is on its side, so this might actually help my carpal tunnel. So that might be a benefit that I didn't think about. Okay, let's hope we have enough of a charge now. There we go. It's working now. This is so weird. Wow, this is so interesting. It's a little weird, I'm not gonna lie. Like when you're holding it, it feels actually pretty comfortable, but when you're using it, it's not bad at all. It's just different. It's much like when I first got my Wacom tablet and I had the Wacom pen. It took me about two weeks to get used to that where I could do it without really uh, thinking about it and I was comfortable using it. I see the learning curve for this being a lot shorter. It's just, it's just different, it's just different. So I do wonder, using this in conjunction with a mouse pad that I have coming, I have a new mouse pad coming, I wonder if this would actually help alleviate my wrist issues. So I'm definitely going to have to plug this in instead of this for a while. But I had to try it out and I'm glad I did. This is really neat. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, please shoot it a like, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you all in the next unboxing. As always, you have a good night or day, whatever it is, wherever you are. Cheers.